hello and welcome to the lecture on form post so we have seen form get let's look at form post so i'll create another folder for it post we're going to copy both these files here okay and then we're going to open these files okay so let's first look at the html page so here we're going to say post post and the only difference actually comes from this when you say method is post the way this fields is being posted to the server is different when it is get and it's different when it is post and we'll see what is the difference now okay so if i change it to post and when i run this file let's execute this file notice that in the get the data has been sent in the url after the question mark so let's analyze what happens if you send it as a via the post. So I'm going to say post. Slash student form dot html. Okay. So now you have your page and the data is been sent via post. So let's do a simple test to send this data so let's submit so when i say submit it will go to display.php and you see there is no data here in the url so how the data has been sent to the server okay that's what we're going to understand in the post so before that let's change the display as well just to make sure it is post okay let's refresh it it's post okay so before we go into details of how to access the post variable let's understand what happened right when you say submit let's go to inspect so you have to right click and go inspect click on network tab okay and we analyze how the data has been sent this will be interesting for you to understand how the post and the get works so go to in right click and go to inspect go on to the network tab and enter the data and the form method is post right that's what we have seen the form method is post okay and then you submit it so once you submit the data has been posted to display.php okay so let's analyze what is the data has been sent over to display.php so this is the url that data has been sent to and the request method is post okay and that's what we say the request this is the request method we say it's post so when you say get the request method will be get okay 200 means successful it's able to reach this and post this data and in the header you have all these headers that has been sent over and the interesting thing is the form data the form data is sent in the header you see the headers here the data is sent in the header and it's not visible in the url but data is still sent over to that page okay and that is in the header so in the http request and response in the request header this form data has been sent with this two value input text as john smith and input email as test at the rate test.com okay and if you see the data how it has been sent let's analyze this i'm copying that okay this is how the data has been sent again the same format you have an ampersand to differentiate between the fields and then you have this input underscore text which is nothing but your input underscore text and the value and the input underscore email and the value okay the only difference that you see is how this data has been sent from the html page to your php page all right and this is how it has been sent it is sent in the request header as a form data understand this and this is a very critical question anyone can ask you when you use a post method how the data is been sent over to your php page the data has been sent in the request header via the form data right and how do you read that in the php code right that's what we have to understand here if you go to display.php it's nothing fancy instead of get you say post that's all that's all you got to do okay now post will access post variables so whatever is the variable sent in the request in the form data that will be able to read by post whatever is sent in the url 
will be accessed by the get okay so if you refresh this page if you're able to see john smith email test at the rate is test.com all right so that's how basically you access the post variable all right so that's how you basically read the post variable and the global variable we use is the post okay remember when you submit the form when you submit the form the data is not sent in the url when it is post when it is get the data is sent in the url and when it is post it is sent in the request header in the form data and to read them you have used basically the global variable dollar underscore post and then it's basically associative array so whatever is your field name here right with that name the data will be sent and if you are confused like how it will how the data is sent what is the variable you can always do a var dump of post and see the data as well or else you can go to the network tab and then you can go to your header and basically you can go and see here what the field name and the value field name and the value has been sent over so when you write your program you understand how to read this in your programming as well okay so that's all about form post how to access the form elements which is posted via the post method all right so i'll see you in the next one